What's up everybody? Today I picked up a new statue and this is a Bowen Designs website exclusive Sentinel. Now this came out back in 2006 and I was uh, lucky enough that my comic book store actually had one. Um, it's been there for a while. I've looked at it several times when uh, you know each trip I went and today I finally decided to buy him so here he is here's the box he's already outside of the box because you know I couldn't wait to take him out and put him with my other statues but um, I'm just showing you the box real quick and this one it is let's see it's 380 out of 500 so there were only 500 made but the funny thing is on the base of this statue it says it's 220 out of 500 so I really don't know what happened there but you know it's pretty cool I, mean, I guess it, it makes it that much rare to me maybe not to somebody else but to me I think it's cool alright so we'll start off with the base the base and the statue are one piece. It's not like any other um, statues that you've seen, you know, where you um, put the statue in on on the base, you know, like with a um, with pegs. This is just one piece right here. You have like a normal, just a normal kind of base, you know. It's got some circles, kind of like a technology look to it. Nothing really special, but here's the statue. You got the normal colors. I believe this is the original um, look for the Sentinel, the original design. But there's so many different types of Sentinels, so I'm not sure which one it is. I mean, I should know, but I don't at the moment. But anyway, here's his head. As you can tell, it looks, it looks. I I like it. It looks cool. Kind of reminds me of the uh, from the cartoon, the X Men series back in the '90s. Now the cool thing about this statue is that his head it rotates a full 360, 360 degrees. So you could have it at any position you want. So you could be looking that way. I mean, you could turn it all the way around, but nobody, who would do that? But yeah, so I like to keep it like right here. Like if he's grabbing somebody, he's like looking at him. Um, his hands come off. It's a magnet. And the arms, they're also mag they're they also have a magnet, but they also have pegs as well. And his head does come off. So the only parts that come off are the head, his arms, his hand, and this part, this is just one big part. It's one part. It's got a peg and a magnet. And let me show you the head. See how it has the peg right there? And then it's got some uh, felt, black felt, and this is where you could do the full um, 360 rotation if you want. We'll give a close up. Now his eyes kind of have like, kind of reminds me of like a, um, a brush, a hairbrush. How the, just the little brushes stick out, I don't know what they're called. But that's what it kind of reminds me of. Very nice detail on it. You can see the cheekbones and the ridges on it, and the helmet. Let's put his head back on. But this is a very, very, very cool looking piece. It's 26 inches tall. This is the tallest statue I have as of right now, 
but he will be beaten by Galactus from uh, Sideshow Collectibles, the maquette. I think it's 33 inches tall. I can't wait for that one. Um, but yeah, this is a it is a nice piece. And I looked on YouTube to see any videos if anybody else had this piece. And I'm surprised. I have not seen one video yet. I've seen uh, Sentinel Bust, but not a full-size statue. But anyway, that's enough talking. Let me just show you the statue now in all its glory. Let's return to the master plan of the universe.